Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside video tour of this 2012 Toyota Prius plug-in hybrid advanced with the uh, advanced technology package. Now, this is a special uh, Prius because of uh, multiple reasons which I'm going to list here. This car only has 41,000 original miles. It's the most expensive to buy new version like I said it's forty forty one thousand dollar sticker price there's the window sticker we actually have it for this car forty one oh seventy seven back in 2012 if you wanted to buy this car new forty one thousand plus tax that's another four thousand so forty five thousand dollars and if the dealer stuck it to you maybe even more than that but if you were a shrewd negotiator, probably because they were in demand, still probably around $45,000 to buy this car brand new. Luckily for you, it's not brand new anymore, but it still smells brand new, which is impressive. This car has valid California registration paid through January of 2020. That'll save you money because you don't have to pay the delinquency of the previous owner since they kept it current. This car came to us from a very good, reliable source. This was a trade-in from Tesla Motors. So we bought this car from Tesla Motors, from their trade-in, um, surplus trade-in unit. They want to have good uh, used Teslas, not used Prius. So we have a Tesla trade-in here. It's not from auction like uh, the car that somebody didn't want this is a nice clean clean car good tire tread on it and i mentioned why is it forty one thousand dollars this is not the regular prius this is the plug-in hybrid with the advanced technology package we're going around the tires are almost brand new so on the front of this car up on the front the toyota logo is different than the regular prius it has a radar uh, sensor in there. This has something called adaptive or smart cruise control. Kind of like the Tesla. When you're driving it on the freeway, it has a self-driving um, driver assistance type package on it so that you set the cruise control. Even in city traffic, it'll automatically speed up or slow down based on the speed of the vehicles in front of you. So you can set the cruise control for 70 miles an hour and if the cars going in front of you are alternating between 45 and 65, you don't even have to touch the gas or the brake. It'll automatically accelerate or decelerate because it has smart cruise control. It also has um, the optional lower body accent molding, these little silver strips. That's pretty rare. Smart key touch sensors on stainless steel door sills so when you open the doors uh, stainless steel a blue lit LED says Prius on there it glows at night very cool up on the front you have the extremely nice LED headlight system with dual lights on each side so there's actually four low beam LED headlights you got a halogen high beams and you got fog lights and these little bulges on the bumper these are like a sprinkler so if you're driving in snow and ice you can fill it with the icing compound and it'll spray the ice over your headlights so you don't have to get off and clean off your headlights in a snowstorm which that radar adaptive cruise control is pretty good for that so when you're driving in fog or in a blizzard or in driving rain with that radar adaptive cruise control, even if you're having to struggle to see the car in front of you and judge distances through the snowstorm, the radar adaptive cruise control will keep you from getting too close. We're going to show you the buttons inside, but you can select far, near, or medium distance from the vehicle in front of you. This is called a winter, I'm sorry, sea glass pearl. The color is sea glass pearl, or some people call it sea foam green but uh, the official Toyota name is Sea Glass Pearl. The tires are Goodyear's on it. They're very good tires. 
let's go to the front windshield. Up on the dashboard, there's a little bump on the dashboard. That is a projector that projects the speed, navigation turns, and um, fuel economy right here on the windshield. So when you're driving down the road, you can see your head-up display. So only the advanced get the head-up display. We're going to go inside and take a look around the upholstery and stuff like that. As we go inside, we're going to take a look at the VIN number. The last three digits of the VIN number are 622. And this car has a clean Carfax history. I'll give you a free copy of the Carfax, but I'm showing you right here on my phone. No accidents reported, no damage reported, one owner vehicle. This car has all original paint. We did look it over fairly carefully. And there is no repainting on this car. Not even the bumpers are repainted. Original paint. Leather interior. The advanced get leather interior. There are three versions of the Prius plug-in. The basic version is the regular Prius plug-in. The advanced which was available for 2014 or 15 model years is got the features of this one without the smart cruise control and the front headlights and stuff like that that are better or with the advanced with the advanced technologies which is what this is now all of the 2012s and 13s were like this the $41,000 version they did make a less expensive version that's the advanced technology I'm sorry the advanced without the technology package I have one of those right now with only 16,000 miles but it's really nice to have the radar adaptive cruise control now this car only has 42,000 miles let me move into a different direction while I'm backing up we do have the backup camera People always say, why does it beep in reverse? Well, I think in the Toyota factory or Toyota, when they were testing these vehicles, the Prius are so quiet when, quiet when you're driving. If you turn off the air conditioning, it literally makes no sound at all. So if you put it in reverse and it's not making any sound, I think one of the Toyota engineers tried to get out when they took the, fo the foot off the brake, it rolled backwards and ran over them. So they said, how do we make that never happen again? So they make the car beep in reverse. There is a hack if the beep really annoys you that you can uh, put in a USB key to the USB port and upload some type of uh, uh, hack that will turn that off. We don't know how to do that, but you can figure that out online if you buy the car. So radar adaptive cruise control cars get this special extra button right here. This is the distance selection button. So when you turn on the cruise control, it says on the dash, radar ready. And then I can select near, medium, or far. Near, medium, or, f uh, that's near, far, or medium, following distance. So uh, by default, it turns on on far. And then you push it again, it goes to medium or close following distance on the radar adaptive cruise control, which is a really nice feature. It works really well. Once you've had it, it's hard to give it up. On a lot of the new cars, they're making it standard equipment. But back in 2012, you had to pay $42,000, $44,000 uh, or thereabouts to buy this featured uh, a car with this feature. While I'm showing you things, I'll give you a picture of the window sticker so you can see it in detail. The VIN number is for this car, $41,077. The books and manuals are also present for the car. We have two keys for this car. And then the key, the key, uh, this key has a master key function with a remote start air conditioning system. So. When you pull up to your favorite stopping place to go get your coffee, you turn off the car, you get out, you run inside, instead of hitting lock, you can hit AC. 
and that will turn on your air conditioning it'll remote start the AC so the AC will run for several minutes while you run into the bank or Starbucks or wherever you run into for a few minutes now that's not a system designed to let you keep pets or people in the car it's just designed to make the car more comfortable or if you're at home you can turn on the air conditioning system uh, before you go out to the car as soon as you get unlock the car and open the door it turns back off and then you have to start the car super simple system very cool now up on the rear view mirror because this is the advanced it has a home link programmable garage door opener so you can set these to automatically open your security gate at your private gated community or your garage door opener to open or close it from the remote on the car um, they have lighted vanity mirrors the uh, Prius plug-in advanced also comes with the SOS system which is extremely cool because you can install the Toyota Entune app on your phone and you can remote start the air conditioning from your phone you can unlock or lock the doors from your phone and do all these features from inside your office on the 51st 51st floor in your big tall office building or in your house with, on your second story you can remote start the air conditioning while this car's down in the garage and get confirmation that it started I'm gonna stuff the camera right up there at the windshield to show you the head-up display I think you can see it it's a big zero miles per hour right there on the windshield screen and then the odometer reading 42,806 original miles they didn't drive this car very much it's extremely clean it looks the part of a low mileage car and it has not been crashed I mentioned those headlight washers this is your button to activate the headlamp washers and you know, of course got power mirrors power windows and you also get the JBL premium sound system which is unique it's a bigger better navigation screen you can see it nice in the daytime and excellent at night the screen tilts out of the way so you can load a CD behind look CD player works we got a CD in there close that up and then it supports Bluetooth so you can sync your phone the first time you buy the car you sync your phone and then your hands-free phone calling is connected and also your music stream is connected so the JBL sound system works as your Bluetooth speakers so you can be blasting your music full blast in here and then when a call comes in the music will pause and you hit answer on the steering wheel or hang up or if you want to make a call you just press that and then it'll pull up your dial pad on the dash you never have to touch your phone you won't get a ticket for messing with your phone they leave your phone in your purse or your pocket and uh, just use the Bluetooth hands-free for your music, your navigating, and your uh, phone calls. I don't want my video to be too long. Let's get out and look in the trunk. This is a hatchback. So you can actually, on the Prius, on this, you just push the button on the side and fold the headrest out of the way. Seats fold forward. It is a five seat vehicle, so if you wanted to drive for Uber or something, you could. Um, with this, they will allow it. You've got your charging cord right here. I'm gonna explain that in a minute. And underneath is the hybrid battery and a small cargo area where you can stow your charging cord. The other seat folds down, but you, have a, you could throw a filing cabinet in the back here. Other cars like the Ford Fusion, you can fit one suitcase. This one you can haul three people and bags to the airport no problem all right now for the explanation of plug-in hybrid on the left side this is your gas filler door you put gas in here and hold typically when you buy gas you can put up to about nine gallons in it holds about 10 gallons or so in the car on the right side you plug in the charging cord how do you do that when you leave this cord in your garage at home, when you go home, at the end of your driving, you plug in the car, and if the battery is fully depleted, it only takes three hours to charge the car to full charge. 
So the car will plug in, it'll charge for three hours. It doesn't use very much electricity because it's only using electricity for three hours. It's a lot cheaper than buying the gas. So you charge up for three hours, the next day it'll drive 10 to 15 miles. Are you paying attention? I get a lot of questions on this. 10 to 15 miles of pure electric driving the following day. So say Monday morning, you're driving around town the first 10 to 15 miles. And to be safe, we're gonna say 11 miles. We're gonna use math here. 11 times 365 days in a year equals about 4,024 miles of pure electric driving. That's basic math. It, your average Californian drives 12 to 15,000 miles a year. So you can estimate 25 to 30% of your driving in the year will not use any gas at all with this car. If you never plug it in, if you live in an apartment, you don't have anywhere to plug it in, you don't have to. You want to, but you don't have to. So if you don't have the chance to plug it in, you forget, whatever, the car is, acts like a regular Prius hybrid. It gets 50 miles per gallon. But when you do plug it in, that extra 4,000 miles a year will take your 50 mile per gallon annual fuel economy average and bump it up to maybe 75, 85. If you make a lot of short trips and charge often, you can get over 100 miles per gallon with this car on short trips. I've been able to get them to read out 140 miles per gallon for a month or so, but that's not typical driving. That's a lot of short trips just around the corner, down to the school, pick up the kids, go home, charge it, go to the post office, come home, charge it. And then I can get 140 miles per gallon with a car like this. But realistic for most drivers in California, 75, that means 750 miles on 10 gallons of gas. How much you pay for a tank of gas? $3.75 a gallon. So let's call it $4 a gallon. So you're going 700 miles on 10 gallons. Do the math, see how much fuel you're gonna save. If you're driving a big SUV that gets 11 miles per gallon, you're gonna save a lot of money. You're gonna pay less for this car than it costs a month in, in gas. Very clean car. My name is Mike Johnson. Give me a call. See if this car is available. Very clean car. My name is Mike Johnson. Check on my website, see which cars are available. If it's on my website with a price showing, it's still available. My website is mybestcar.com. The company name is A Buyer's Choice. Mybestcar.com is a website, check it out. If you have questions and the car is available or you have a question about a car that is available, give me a call, 951-681-2101. Thank you.